This car is um, the F40 Le Mans prototype uh, built by Jean Blaton. He wasn't uh, happy with the speed of the regular Le Mans and uh, he thought he um, might need a monocoque in order to, uh, to make the car lighter and uh, more uh, appropriate for racing. And he wanted to do uh, Le Mans racing, but uh, finally uh, that plan didn't go through. But it's the, uh, the one and only Le Mans F40 uh, with the monocoque uh, built from Kevlar. Jean Blaton uh, was a very wealthy man and he didn't want his names on the, uh, on the grid, etc. So that's why he invented an, uh, a nickname and that's, uh, that's Burleys. There's, there's only one car. They made something like 400 or 500 uh, F40s, 19 uh, Le Mans. And one of those Le Mans they, uh, they used to build this car. First visit uh, I did uh, in order to see um, an F40, then I found out that I don't fit in the car. It's 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 too uh, too narrow for me. I'm I'm uh, one meter uh, ninety three, so that's uh, that's very uh, very difficult uh, to fit in a normal uh, F40. And uh, I knew that was one uh, with the, the uh, top remove, so I think I thought well I'll try to get that one. It's at least a very expensive car uh, in maintenance. We, we uh, together with uh, Alex, Alex from Frotza, we worked, uh, I think, uh, more than three years uh, in order to get uh, the car sorted because uh, it's a prototype and so many things uh, were just developed very quickly and they, we completely redid uh, those things and that took, took a lot of effort. weighs uh, 800 kilos and uh, the normal uh, Le Mans engine has got uh, 760 or 780 uh, brake horsepower. This one was dynoed at 780 but we uh, did some changes to the uh, uh, motor management, uh, engine management system and now we're running it on uh, 600 uh, brake horsepower to give it a, a bit more long lasting uh, life otherwise we have to uh, redo the engine each and every uh, 10 to 20 hours. And with 600 brake horsepower, we think we can drive at least uh, 100 hours or so. It's, it's the, the original uh, uh, Michelotto uh, Le Mans engine, just uh, the V8 2.9 or, or so uh, engine, uh, double turbos. And uh, the only difference with the uh, normal Le Mans cars is that this one hasn't got any restrictors, whereas uh, the, the competition cars, they, they breathe through uh, tiny holes. Yeah, I found it on the internet, uh, called the guy, it was a Frenchman, and he had some garage some, uh, some 20 miles north of uh, Paris. And we passed through the uh, village, I think, 10 times, 15 times. There were just uh, 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 farmer houses and we, we couldn't find the spot. And then we uh, uh, pressed the button on a farmer house and there was some, uh, some area behind it. And that was completely filled with GT1 cars, GT2, GT3 cars. Uh, Formula, he had two Formula 1 cars, uh, a huge uh, uh, amount of... Uh, uh, old uh, race cars and this one uh, as well. It was um, optical uh, just like, like it's now, uh, but mechanically uh, it, uh, it had been there for a couple of years and uh, the main drive shaft was, uh, uh, was, was curved like a banana. So we uh, completely redid the engine and uh, changed the turbos. The turbos were gone, uh, they missed the um, uh, veins on the on the uh, rotating disc, so there were uh, quite a few uh, problems. But uh, together with uh, Alex uh, and his team, uh, they did a really great job in order to uh, to get it sorted out. And now it's running smoothly. <laughs> It's a very
very uh, tough car to drive because uh, it doesn't have power steering, whereas it has used huge uh, slicks, so that's tough work. Uh, it doesn't have uh, brake assistance uh, in whatever kind, no, uh, uh, no electronics, uh, just a uh, big engine. And, uh, and gear sh uh, regular gear shifts, no, no flippers like, uh, like the, the new guys uh, use. And it's, it's, it's tough, but it's fun uh, because it's very hard, hard work and it's very rewarding. If, if you get it around the track uh, pretty fast, then it really gives a great kick.